Hello everyone. Welcome to the Medienstimmer studio in Munich. We are a trusted media partner of OnlyOffice. And I'm Richard, your today's host. Thank you all for joining the webinar devoted to the new release of OnlyOffice Docs, version 7.4. Stay tuned during the presentation. You can take part in online raffles in the stream chat and win prizes. Besides, you're also welcome to ask your questions, leave suggestions and any feedback in the chat. So, without further ado, let's start. OnlyOffice Docs comprises editors for text documents, sheets and slides, along with a form creator and PDF viewer and converter. The suite is available on all platforms, including web, desktop and mobile. The latest update of OnlyOffice Docs comes with more than 30 new features and 13 bug fixes. Version 7.4 is already available in self-hosted solutions, including integrations, as well as for Docs Cloud and OnlyOffice DocSpace. You can deploy the editors choosing among multiple installation options, including DEB, RPM, Docker, Snap, UCS app, Cloudron, AMI, one-click app on DigitalOcean, Walter and Linode, Alibaba Cloud Image, Kubernetes. Ready to explore all the novelties? Let yourself be creative and make your own freehand drawings on slides, text docs and sheets. The feature is accessible through the new Draw tab. You can use a pen or highlighter, choose the desired color and line thickness. Insert radar charts in your sheets, docs or slides to illustrate multivariate data through graphs. Go to the Insert tab. For example, this chart visually represents strengths and weaknesses of three different products in terms of price, durability, appearance, customization and quality. Among available types of this chart, you will also find radar with markers and filled radar. If you often work with document review, for example with agreements or contracts, and deal with multiple versions of the same file with lots of suggestions and revisions, this new feature will be useful for you. From now on, you can combine text documents. Basically, it means you merge two versions of a document into one. Go to the Collaboration tab. Combining documents is similar to doc comparison. However, there is one significant difference. When comparing files, all the unsolved track changes after anyone's review will be considered as accepted in the merge doc. When combining documents, files are merged as they are and the unresolved track changes will remain in the merge doc. So, you will be able to still accept or reject them if needed. Quickly save objects such as shapes, charts, text art, text boxes, smart art created in your documents, spreadsheets or presentations as PNG images with a transparent background and use them further in your work. Just select the save as picture option from the object context menu. What's more, you are now able to save your text documents and spreadsheets as PNG and JPEG pictures for further distribution. You can do so via the Download As option from the File tab. When activating protected ranges, grant editing rights only to the appropriate users. Go to the Protection tab, select the Protect Range option, specify the protected area and define who is able to edit these data ranges. Other people with access to the workbook are still able to view the content, but editing the selected ranges is prohibited for them. Make your calculations even more effective using the newly added formulas sequence, xmatch, expand, filter, array to text and sort, available via the formula tab. Improved pivot tables accessible via the corresponding tab come with the show values as setting to quickly present values in different ways and context menu options for more straightforward work with such tables. In version 7.4, you can also make use of other enhancements such as page break preview, available in the view tab, the ability to set the range of pages and the first page number for printing, short and long date in the number format presets and change case setting. Only Office Document Editor brings some further useful features. Here, you get the enhanced work with lists, including advanced settings for numbers and multi-level lists, recently used and lists in the current document in the presets, ability to create a new list via the settings dialog. Furthermore, you get advanced column settings for easier creation of custom columns. Go to the Layout tab, select Columns, and then the Custom Column options to set the required parameters. 
Make use of a list of exceptions for autocorrect of capital letters, which is also available for the presentation editor. Go to the File tab, switch to the Advanced settings, find the autocorrect options and select Text Autocorrect. As for the file format support, further ones are now available for viewing and editing via conversion to OOXML files, including WPS, WPT, MHTML, DPS, etc. Using color palettes in the editors became more comfortable, thanks to the Edit Color Name Tips and Eyedropper, which automatically recognizes the needed color. What's more, for graphic objects, you can now adjust the border opacity settings via the shape settings on the right panel, as well as copy the formatting of the existing visuals when creating new ones. The corresponding options is available in the Home tab. Thanks to the extended API, plugins can now have as many windows as you want. For example, to execute a custom script in a separate window and be dynamically embedded in the context menu of the editors. It gives you more freedom and enhances the number of possible usage scenarios for plugins. One of the brightest examples here is the ChatGPT plugin. From now on, it now provides word analysis with the ability to explain the meaning of the selected word by leaving a comment or embedding a link which directs users to a website that provides a detailed explanation of the word's meaning. What's more, the ChatGPT plugin allows generating images based on the selected text. You can also run text analysis, including text summarization and keyword generation. What else? The newly added server utility allows admins, when a manual installation is required, to install or uninstall plugins with a single command line instead of copying folders. This release comes with lots of improvements for only Office Forms, all to make the form creation process even more comfortable. For example, the ability to add a new form without leaving the current one, default value settings, since it's no longer possible to fill out forms in the editing mode to polish the logic of work, and improved track rendering for fixed forms. Also, new is the better functioning of smaller forms inside complex ones. Localization of only Office Docs is constantly improved to make the suite accessible to all users all over the world. In version 7.4, you will find Sinhala translation for the editors, regional settings in Danish, the translation of formula tips into Armenian, as well as the help section, now in Turkish. The only Office team always welcomes contributors and translators to the community. Join us! to help others use the editors in their native languages and get a reward for your efforts. Just send your suggestions to documentation at onlyoffice.com. For a more comfortable user experience, further interface scaling options were added. 250, 300, 350, 400, 450 and 500 percent. Also, several updates were introduced for interface elements, including the display of numbers of results in the search box and column headings for lists. OnlyOffice often launches usability tests among users and community to get valuable feedback. If you want to participate, send your request to marketing at onlyoffice.com specifying usability beta tester in the subject. Well, which new features do you like the most? Share it in the chat. To download the latest version of self-hosted online editors from the official website, just scan this QR code and access the download page. Only Office Desktop App, which allows working with all kinds of Office Docs on your PC or laptop, was also updated to version 7.4. The application is built on top of the same engine as Only Office Docs, so the newest version comes with the majority of features that are available in the online editors. Among additional enhancements, you get the template section with ready to use forms. This way, you are able to select any ready to use form from the library with just several clicks. The desktop app also comes with more print settings, including double-sided printing and ability to define a number of copies for the page range. Besides, in the desktop app, you are now able to use the plugin manager for one-click installation, previously available in the online version. If you want to try the updated desktop app yourself, you can always download it from the official website. This QR code will lead you to the download page where you can find a client for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. The source code of the app is also available on GitHub. So, 
Thanks everyone for being with us. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. Try OnlyOffice Docs 7.4 and share your impressions in social media channels. Your feedback is always much appreciated. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.